What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case you're new here and if you are new here please be so kind subscribe like all that good good and all that you know everything that people usually don't do. Anyways today we're going to do a quick little trade recap here nothing too instructional or anything like that like I said just a quick trade recap on a trade that I did here today on SPY. We had a 2,236 profit but I'm just going to say 2,200 just for the sake of simplicity you guys know me I like to round things out and down and all that. Uh, so let me go and just real briefly, I'll show it to you on the chart. I was trading calls this time. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. So as the value of the stock increased, I was able to make money. That's generally the basic stuff. I don't really have to explain that. I usually have to explain when it's the other way around if I'm making money on the stock going down. Uh, so very simple trade. I got in I had two entries. I started in with like my main position size here. I started fairly light size. Uh, and then I added in a little bit more, and then I took the profit right up here. Uh, again, it was a $2,200 profit. I'll go in, I'll break down the numbers for you guys, and that'll pretty much be it. Just want to do a quick, quick little trade recap here, just kind of check in with you guys. Hey, how you guys doing? I hope all is well. Uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then, yeah. So, first, I initially got into the trade at 822, and then I added in at 836, and then I was done by. 1021 so two hours and that was pretty much that uh the total cost of the trade was i believe about seven or eight thousand dollars so if you have seven or eight thousand dollars and you know what you were doing then you too could have made two thousand two hundred dollars in two hours and yeah that, that, that's that so i first started in with five contracts the way that options works we're trading options here options contracts which is very similar to trading stock shares it's just a little bit more um uh, just a little bit more. We'll just leave it at that. It's just a little more. It's like driving a car or driving a stick shift manual car. It's the same thing. It's just a little more. Uh, you can do a little more with it. You can, you know, have a little more control of things. Anyway, so uh, that's what we're doing here. For anyone that's new, I, I saw some comments on my previous videos that are people who are like, dude, what is this? Uh, so in case you're new, super new, uh, these are options. It's the same thing as trading stock shares. It just allows us to trade the shares with a smaller amount of money invested and to get bigger returns. Uh, for a very simple explanation there. But please, guys, make sure you learn about them and, and don't just start assuming you know about them and don't just Google about them because then you're going to end up having a big, real tough time trying to figure them out. Anyway, so I had five of them first, five contracts. One is equivalent to 100. So you see here it's 1141. So one was actually 1,141. I had five of them, so five times 1,141. That gives you 5,705. So I'm initially in it 5,705 and I got in a little early. Part of the reason why I got in a little early is also because of the fact that we're in real volatile times. You know, I can't expect it to exactly hit where I want it to hit because it might not. It might just stop short of it, stop shy of it. We're moving very fast. Things reverse very quickly. Uh, so, so that's pretty much that. I said I'm not going to do too much instructional things here. So back to the trade recap. going to try and make this quick for you guys. So initially we were in it 5,705. Then about what 15 minutes later, I added in an additional two contracts to what I'm now it's full size position now. Um, the cost at that time was 1052, so that would be 1052. So 1052 times two is 2104. So we're gonna add that 2104 to the initial. 5,705, which gives us a total of 7,809. So that was the entire investment, the cost of the trade. And just to reiterate, like I do in my other videos, when I say it's the cost of the trade, it does not mean that if we are wrong, that we're losing $7,809. No, that's, that's how much we're in it for. So just a base example on stock shares, you buy you know, one share of a stock at $100, that doesn't mean that if you're wrong, you thought it was going to go up, right? Okay, if you're wrong, it doesn't mean you lose $100. You can sell it at 90, 95. You get what I'm saying? So that's just the cost of the trade. 7,809. So do you have $7,809? Do you know what you're doing? If you do, then hey, you could have done this as well. You could have made $2,200. And I mean, this is what some people don't even make this in a week, guys. In a month, some people, this is like their monthly paycheck. Uh, anyway, so I'm not trying to get into all that, trying to, you know, perspective and all that. That's not what we're here for. Yeah, I got to control myself. Got to stop myself from the rambling. So that was the trade. I was in it 822, 836, total cost 7,809. 
and we had seven contracts there. Again, it, it was a next week expiration date. I like to play things safe during these times. Plus, it wasn't a quick just morning momentum trade. I was going to give it a little bit of time. Uh, anyways, I got to hold myself. Uh, this is where I got into it. Let me get you guys a better visual here. So right here is where I first started in, right at the 822 area. Uh, like For the sake of the numerical area, it was like right around the 222-ish, give or take some. And then when I added in, it was right at the 220. And when I closed the trade, my I initially I was hoping it could get to 230. That was like my main area. I'm like, all right, come on, give us a bounce to the the 230 area. Uh, but I started seeing that okay, we're kind of rejecting it, reversing, and I'm like, okay, it's not looking too hot here. Uh, a little bit of my basketball strategy that I've talked about in one of my free webinars before. Maybe I'll do another free webinar again. It's been like a year and a half, two years since I've done one. Man, time flies, guys. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Got to hold myself. So, anyways. Uh, this is where I started in with five contracts. I added in two right here. And then as the value of the stock went up, the value of my option increased to 1435 there. And that's where I sold it right here, right around the 228 area here. Uh, again, I was hoping we could get 230, but I, I, it looked like it wasn't going to happen. I saw some reversal things coming into effect. It looked like we were going to start going down. I said, all right, let me just cut it here. Don't get greedy. Um, I should have taken some profit along the way anyways. So uh, either way, I got to stop myself. You guys know me. I talk too much. So I closed the trade out 1021. I sold all seven of them at 1435 each, which is $1,435 each times seven. That gives us 10,045. So we're going to subtract the cost of the trade from what we sold it for. We sold it for 10,045. And the cost of the trade, the total cost of the trade was 7,809. So subtract that 7,809 from the 10,045. That's where I ended up with a $2,236 profit. And again, guys, this is why it pays to one, have a plan, two, stick to your plan, and three, have an understanding of the market and know what's going on. So you can also kind of tell, hey, wait, we stopped about 50 cents short. Again, also understand, like I was mentioning earlier in the video, like, okay, I gave myself a little bit. I, I shouldn't be doing this instructional stuff, guys. This is just a trade recap. But you guys get what I'm trying to say? It pays to know. Uh, a wise man once said, you can't put a price on knowledge. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, that's pretty much that, guys. We're going to wrap it up here before I start rambling. Uh, it was a $2,200 profit in about two hours with less than $8,000 invested. And that was pretty much that. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you enjoyed it, please, guys, I promise you, it's not going to kill you. You're not going to catch a virus. Just press the thumbs up button. You know what I mean? Be a supporter instead of a hater. You, technically, you're a hater if you're not supporting. Uh, that's, that's wrong. I shouldn't say that. Um, I take that back. Anyways, guys, this is me rambling. I got to go. I'll catch you guys soon. I'll put some links in the description that you might want to click to like my social medias, my website, the other YouTube channel that I haven't posted on forever, which I really need to. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. 2,200 and that's pretty much that.